Hello, my beautiful Makeup Love subscribers. It's Rowie Singh here. You guys, I can't believe it's almost Christmas. And I can't believe this is my last tutorial for the year with you guys on the Makeup Love channel. So I've got one final look that I want to share with you guys. I'm calling this my perfect evening makeup look. Whether you've got a Christmas party, birthday party, wedding, formal, whatever it may be. You can't go wrong with a beautiful brown smoky eye and a really nice glossed red lip. So if you wanted to see how I created this look, then just keep watching. Alright, so I've done my base and my brows just to speed up the process. And what I actually did with my base is I used the mask disturbing liquid which is a highlighter but I used it all over my face just to really make myself glow so I just squeeze a tiny bit into the palm of my hand and just combine that with my um, primer and then massage that into my skin and I can already see like more of a sheen more of like a healthy glow peeping through my foundation and of course the foundation that I used is the fit me matte and poreless in the shade 310 I just love this foundation it works so well with my skin like it gives me more of like a blurred like airbrush effect and that's what we like. So everything is looking nice and smooth and seamless. What I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go in with my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium, and I'm just going to apply that to my lid. This step is definitely a must for me because I really need to sort of lay that base, create a nice even canvas before I start applying my shadows. Um, and I'm just taking a buffing brush and just stippling that concealer into my lid. So we're going to create a really cute smoky eye today. I'm going to be using the Nudes palette because it has a really, really nice collection of browns and golds. And I feel like that is my go-to occasion makeup. Like anything that's really smoky, bronze and gold works so well with my complexion and always looks good. I'm going to go in with this matte brown shade here and start applying that to my outer corner. Just taking a fluffy brush and then I'm just going to blend that into my crease like this. I'm going to do the same to the other eye, just sort of tapping that into the lid and then running it across the crease to blend that in. And really smooth out the crease and make it look really seamless. Take my blending brush and running that across my crease like that. Such a nice like chocolatey brown and I feel like I normally struggle with dark colours and blending them out but this is a lot easier. Alright, so once that initial bit of brown is on, I'm going to take this colour here which is also a brown, but it has more of like a goldy, bronzy tinge to it. I'm just going to dip into that using the same brush and I'm applying that directly to my lid. Ooh, that is so nice. Yes! Come through chocolatey goodness. The key is to make sure it looks really soft and glowy, so I'm really making sure that whenever I'm applying that brown, I'm blending it out and softening it in the crease like this. And even just using some flicking motions, that also helps. I'm going to take that same exact colour and I'm just going to bring it under the eye. So tapping back into it, I'm going to start at the very outer corner and then start to sort of bring that down and around like this. And just really lightly running that back and forth under my eye. So my number one tip in making a smoky eye look really soft, blended and beautiful is take a big fluffy brush like this and just smooth out those edges and especially under the eye so it doesn't look like you've been punched in the face. I think people forget to do that, they just pack on these really heavy and intense dark colours and then they leave it and they're like, oh that didn't work out. It's like you need to blend out those dark colours and make them look softer as if those dark colours are just melting into your complexion. So going back to my lids, I'm going to go in with this goldy bronze colour and I'm going to apply that in my inner corner. I'm going to go in with this beautiful gold colour. It kind of reminds me of the Master Creme highlighter. And I'm going to apply that right on my inner corner. So I've got my Line Refine Express Cardial Liner. It's a soft coal liner um, with a really nice crayon finish and I'm going to apply that right underneath my waterline. My fingers are all sparkly from the strobe highlighter so I'm going to take a little makeup pad and I'm just going to place it under my eye and pull down. Really, really important step clean it all up and make everything look really really neat and tidy. I'm going back in with my Instant Age Rewind and I'm applying that just on my cheeks underneath my eyes. And I'm just going to clean up my under eye a little bit. Just sort of tapping that concealer into my skin right underneath my eyes. 
You can make as much of a mess as you want, as long as you clean it up afterwards and just hide everything with concealer, you're completely fine. So I'm gonna apply some lashes as well. This has got to be like one of my favorite mascaras ever. It's the Colossal Big Shot Mascara. I love it because like it lengthens your lashes without making them look clumpy and that is key. I always take my finger and run it along my bottom lashes just to get rid of any excess product so when I blink it doesn't go all over my face. I've got my Fit Me blush in the shade 30 which is perfect for my skin because it's a really nice rosy pink and it also has these little specks of gold and I'm going to blend that into my cheeks just like that. <laughs> I'm really obsessed with like big rosy cheeks at the moment, just really adding all that color into my skin and if you've added too much just like what I've done I'm just gonna blend that out just a little bit just to soften it I've got my go-to highlighter which is Master Chrome in Molten Gold everybody knows how good this is and I'm just going to fluff that onto my cheekbone a little bit on the tip of the nose and I'm actually gonna take a little bit and add that to my inner corner as well like this all right, my queens, we are nearly, nearly, nearly done. I love doing like a nice bright red slash burgundy look for Christmas. I feel like I do it every single year and it's so classic and never goes out. I've got my Color Sensational Lippy in the shade Cruel Ruby and I'm going to add this to my lips. Okay, I'm so tempted to gloss up this look. So I'm gonna take my Vivid Hot Liqueur and this is in the shade Classic and I'm gonna add that to my lips as well. Oh my God. Oh, this is delectable. I mean, how can we resist a juicy red lip like this, right? I am very happy with how this look turned out. Love me a look that is incredibly versatile. I feel like this look could be worn on so many different occasions, like birthday parties, weddings, receptions, Christmas parties, whatever you've got on. That does require a little bit of a glow up. You can try this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And oh my goodness, I hope you guys have had an amazing 2018. It's been so lovely working with a makeup loft this past year. My name is Rowie Singh and signing off. Hope you guys have an incredible Christmas. Bye.